next order of business will be to go ahead and uh, begin to install the battery compartment. Right norm. And this, folks, is our uh, battery enclosure. Goes faster when the pieces are pre cut and ready to go. But uh, up forward here will be a covered compartment. Right where Robber's at will be the panel that faces out, all the receptacles and displays and things like that. And uh, right here is where that really heavy inverter is going to go. Uh, over there will be where the load center goes. I think I'll put the charge controller and the PV box um, disconnect here on this side. This side will remain empty. There's an important reason for that. I want to get weight distribution correct because on this side is where all of the, on the outside is where all of the solar panels will be mounted. Those are at least, uh, the panels themselves are at least a couple hundred pounds. And then of course with their uh, necessary hardware to hold them in place out here on the side of the trailer um, you know, I felt it was best to distribute the uh, weight as best we could so uh, when this thing is not in use all the solar panels will store uh, on edge standing up on edge right in here on top of that uh, battery box and uh, so it'll all be a nice compact thing I am not going to permanently install the solar panels out here on the outside uh, for one because whenever we use this we're bound to use it for long stretches at a time and when we don't use it uh, it'll be for long stretches at a time uh, also I don't want to go down the freeway with solar panels mounted to the side of this and the third reason and the most obvious reason is because these solar panels are so large they will dwarf the sides and top of this thing so uh, it would just be impractical to keep them permanently installed and drag them down the road. Hey everyone, we're going to finish building the battery box. And we've got to put the batteries in before we can finish uh, um, outfitting the battery compartment just to make sure everything's right. Um, we need to build a cover for it and heck that might be the whole day. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. You remember that we cut some uh, vent holes in the sides of the battery compartment to allow venting of the batteries. Well, I'm going to install these, like they're seven inch fans, six inch fans, uh, in these holes. That'll provide good uh, 
protection for the batteries in case they vent out, they overheat, uh, allow airflow in and among that uh, enclosed battery compartment. So repurpose these from the old center uh, solar generator and they work great, so I'm gonna use them in the new one. Bathtub or something. Soaking in a tub, Robert. I could make a redneck tub out of this. <laughs> you could. So we've got the fan installed on one side. Got to do another. And this is what it looks like from the inside if Robert moves her foot. <laughs> so the black shelf paper that you see is for our batteries. No, uh, just having fun with Robert from the last video. I was thinking about how I'm going to cushion the batteries when I put them in this octagonal compartment. And it just so happened that the neighbor uh, down the street was having a yard sale and was selling this sort of cushioned, rubberized shelf paper for a dollar roll. So I thought this would be perfect. Now, Iridium242, who's a channel on YouTube, nice guy, lives out in Nye County, Nevada. Uh, he made a suggestion that it would be good to use like bed liner uh, material and I don't know by that if he meant the spray on kind or uh, if he meant an actual bed liner to use that underneath the batteries to cushion them that's an excellent idea unfortunately I already bought this stuff and I think it'll work for now and uh, I wouldn't even know where to find a bed liner right now but at a dollar a roll I could probably do the whole octagon with one roll maybe less so we'll try it so we got the black stuff down and that should provide adequate you know moisture protection uh maybe condensation protection whatever i don't know how much insulation it's going to offer but at least it'll keep the moisture off of the batteries and provide a little bit of cushioning for them as they go down the road so. <laughs> Take a look before you. Yeah, that's okay. 
we're I mean, we're doing the job of keeping it from keep the bears from shifting around. That's the important thing. Okay, next. It just goes right on top. Pound it in with the heel of your hand. There you go. This is our battery storage compartment, and we cut an octagon shape and put in between in the bottom and we've cut another octagon shape on the top and cut a hole out so we could put stuff down in there it's pretty nifty huh <laughs> platform we're just gonna sleep on there it's dark you, <laughs> you know what let's check it out let's see if it is sleepable <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> my legs would just fit inside of this just fit <laughs> 